Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Robert Sewell, Victor Valley College's Public Information Officer and ASB Advisor, and Ms. Charity Lindsay with Marketing and Public Information. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to find out how you should get involved with ASB. Hello, hey, hello, hello, good morning, good morning. Anyway, so we'll, we'll start out with this. VVC is the place to be for many reasons, but my name is Robert Sewell, Victor Valley College. You might get a few emails from me concerning events, activities here on campus, but then also we're here today to talk about the Associated Student Body uh, Council that represents all students here. And with me today is one of our alumni and current employee, Charity Lindsay. So I'll let her introduce herself. Hello everyone, I'm Charity Lindsay. I'm the Marketing and Public Relations Coordinator here. Um, and I also am an alumni of not just VVC, but ASB. Um, I was served two years on the ASB Council from 2013 to 2015. So I have a little bit of experience in that regard too. So what is ASB? ASB is the Associated Student Body. Every member, every person that's enrolled at Victor Valley College is part of the, the Associated Student Body. Something that's a little different at Victor Valley College is that the student voice is listened to and it's listened to and that respect that's given to the students that represent our students. There are 18 students that <clears throat> fill the ASB Council they represent different areas and divisions on campus, science senator, business senator. Uh, we've got a uh, associated student body president who also sits with our board of trustees. This year, we're pleased to have uh, Bridge Lee, who represents our students in the student voice with our trustees, the, and the college as a whole, and you, and represents you very well. The thing that to keep in mind is that what makes Victor Valley College a little different with our ASB is acknowledged throughout the country, our student body and the involvement, the respect that they're given is the best in, um, we'll just put it out here without bragging, they're the best in the country, period. Uh, acknowledged three times in the last uh, 15 years as the best in the country representing students. And a lot of that has to do with who our students are the act and the access that they're given and provided here at Victor Valley College, from the board of trustees to the superintendent president to the vice president, they are included in all student-based decisions. Uh, they're encouraged to participate. They are very successful at times with uh, sharing charity. They're sharing their thoughts as to what how they see um, the, the campus and the activities, their opinion is valued. You'll see that if you ever log into our board of trustees meeting, they are, the student voice is valued here at VVC and it helps to shape uh, the future as, as we move forward. Uh, our students are very successful. Uh, you wanna share a little about some of our students? Yeah, sure. <laughs> um... I joined ASB a little bit by accident. I'll just share my experience first so that I kind of have somewhere to start with. Um, I had started as a Phi Theta Kappa student here, um, which is the honors program. And I got involved that way so that I, originally just so I could get priority registration. And then it was sort of a happy accident that um, I got more involved through that. And then Robert actually showed up at one of the Phi Theta Kappa meetings and recruited me for ASB. Um, I didn't know anything about it when I first joined. Um, and uh, quickly learned that it was not only a great opportunity to get more involved in college, but it was also a great opportunity to get experience that will help you in any field really, or just throughout life. I mean, some of my best friends today are still the people that I was on ASB with. Uh, I work here at the college full-time now, obviously that was a transition that happened um, because I was on ASB. So, and it also just gave, so many of us like the professional experience that we didn't get, um, you know, that hands-on experience, professional experience, networking with people that you might not get just in classes. So it's a huge, huge bonus in that sense. Um, and I you asked to talk about wonderful students and um, I stay in contact with all the, the people that I served with on ASB. And so many have gone on to do amazing things. I mean, from law school, already serving in positions at law firms, uh, full-time jobs as teachers, 
um, amazing things. I mean, and they're all better for having served here first and having that experience, um, especially as a public serving sort of role. Well, we have some, even uh, a couple of our former deans and current deans, department chairs here at Victor Valley College, were part of the ASB council here at Victor Valley College, uh, proud members, I would say, uh, serving as roles as senators, representing our public information mm -hmm. uh, as the ASB president, also representing as the trustee, the student trustee, uh, congressman, uh, Congressman Denham was the ASB president here many years ago. And so what, is, what does ASB do and why should people get involved? In the, in the coming weeks, probably in the next two to three weeks, we'll be sending out information for next year's council to get involved with the ASB council. Uh, we have a retreat during the summer, which will be about four days where we set goals that the last 20 years, I think we've, we've set up thousands of goals that, that, and things that you look around the campus and say, wow, you know, the, the student body uh, may, has made a lot of changes here on campus, whether it be artwork, whether it would be uh, certain buildings, the, the marquees when they were first put up, uh, the stoplight down on Fish Hatchery mm -hmm. Road, that was a ASB sponsored project that was uh, put into place for the safety of students here on campus. Um, and as I mentioned, the, the student voice of Victor Valley College, they, it is encouraged, they are listened to, and there are many changes that occur as we get better here uh, in, in the life here at Victor Valley College. Um, as I said, in the, in the coming weeks, we're, we're going to be sending out an interest profile, you know, how students can get involved uh, with next year's council. Uh, the council members, there are 18, members and then one member that sits with and reports to and back from our foundation. Uh, each students do serve on hiring committees here for many of the administrative positions that, uh, that occur. So the student voice is shared there when student fees are discussed, that's uh, shared with the ASB council. And then there are many activities. Uh, those that have logged in, to their student email will have seen in the fall many of the activities that have occurred virtually this year. And Charity is responsible for pulling together uh, a lot of that information. They've been pretty successful. Yeah, they've been a lot of fun. Yeah, a, a lot of fun to get students uh, involved this year. Things have been a little different, but if you are interested in being a part of next year's council, I think the things that, that I've learned through the years um, is that students, given the opportunity to participate, you know, there's sometimes there's a little bit of apathy. You know, you've probably seen that as we as, as we, we go through life and everything. And the antidote's really simple: participation. Um, you get the opportunity to speak in front of our. Um, administrators here in uh, group meetings to help set agendas and guidelines and structure for what the future is gonna look like. You're encouraged to, to speak in front of our board of trustees. Uh, the one thing I can say is that all of our students know who our decision makers are on campus, don't you think? Yeah, and I mean, it's not, I mean, you say you have the opportunity to speak in front of them and the good thing is that they really do listen. Um, and you think going into serving as a student that it's more of an opportunity for yourself um, that you're gonna grow in something like this and it gives you experience, but it also really does make a change. So if you're interested in having sort of that advocacy role or you have ideas about what you'd like to see different or what could be better, um, it's a perfect role so that you can share those ideas and be heard um, and they really will listen to you, not just the board of trustees, but also the staff and faculty here. They really value ASB's opinion and they trust you guys to um, represent the entire student body. And I, I think that's important. You know, it's, it's, it, it's less talk, more action. Actually, mm -hmm. people do listen and, and very much encouraged. Um, you know, I kind of, uh, we, we point to some of the things that, uh, 
that, that the students get involved with. We, we, do, we do have a summer retreat. Um, our trustees, our administration, our superintendent president, um, past council members that are now uh, out in their own profession, whether they be doctors, lawyers, congressmen, will be in attendance to, to help share and, and provide that advice. And, and it, there's the connections. Mm -hmm. I mean, in fact, I think you uh, were connected with, with certain people through your experience here. It kind of makes uh, the student experience at Victor Valley College even more rewarding. Uh, the folks that you get to connect with that, that know where you want to, uh, where your future lies, yeah. will, will help you to shine. So I think that ha happened a little bit with you and your connections. I yeah, believe. definitely. Um, I mean, the best connection I made here is sitting next to me, <laughs> Robert, because of course he helped me get um, the job that I have now. And also the first job I had after leaving BBC, which was working at the Daily Press newspaper. Um, he served as a recommendation for me. And um, I don't think I would have had that opportunity had it not been for that. It goes a long way to have somebody that has, you know, a lot of experience and a professional reputation in the community to recommend you. Um, so it's, it's huge. The benefits are kind of endless. And everyone I know that's served on ASB has benefited in some way, um, whether that be like getting a job or just gaining experience or getting to travel somewhere they never have been, um, coming out of their shell, learning how to public speak, doing better at job interviews because of this, um, all of it, it helps tremendously. There's a, you know, as I was thinking about this, this, this year at Victor Valley College, we'll be celebrating this, this summer and everything, our 60th year anniversary. So that's kind of a peek into the future. Uh, since we were established in 1961. But one of the redeeming qualities about Victor Valley College, you know, we, we have excellent faculty. Mm -hmm. uh, we have excellent employees, beautiful college. Um, obviously, if, you know, as, as we move into this next year, where the students will, will get to experience a little bit more of yeah. that. Um, but the one thing about uh, up here in the high desert community and everything, it's our students. There is nothing that, that our students can't accomplish. It's amazing to, to sit back and think, wow, um, let's give the students the opportunity. Let's make sure that they're connected. Let's make sure they're involved. And I think it's important. Let's make sure they're represented. Students need to know and be encouraged that their, their voices is relevant. It's not just relevant, but it's it's listened to. And as our administrators are available and open, our teachers are available and open, and you get to know and and as we move forward, there's a lot of connection and camaraderie that exists. I don't know if you and so for you know from charity's perspective, she spent a couple of years here as a student. Um, she's quite a few. <laughs> quite a few and representing students and our, as we move forward, um, the, the students will have the opportunity to represent here local in the city, uh, in our region. Victor Valley College serves in one of the nine regions, uh, region nine. Uh, working with other colleges that are in our region, Palomar and San Bernardino Valley and Crafton and Norco mm -hmm. um, and uh, Barstow to, to work with their student leaders to craft strategies and also to, to put forth um, recommendations for the chancellor and the state of California for uh, to, to pick up legislation that would impact students as well. And then on the outside the state level, then also at the national level, uh, we represent in Washington, D.C. every year as well, the, the, the American Student Association of Community Colleges. Mm -hmm. And so as Charity has been part of and witness to, as many of our students in the past, uh, we've been acknowledged for the, because of the hard work of our students, their involvement, their commitment, and the things that we do at Victor Valley College that are unique to pretty much all community colleges. Um, so anyway, if Chris, are you still with us?
Okay. There we are. Hey, buddy. All right. Robert, I want to know where you are in this picture for reaching the goal. Oh, <laughs> I don't know where you are in this he picture. He did it too, believe me. Well, <laughs> All right, that's a good, you know, Chris, you, that, that is one of our, that's part of our ASB retreat in the bottom left-hand corner. And uh, part of the activities and the team building and the skills that, that are put together, I have been put in that position as well, where, where you're reaching out a little farther than you think is physically possible without stepping outside the circle. And the support that you get from your fellow students and everything is necessary and allows you to reach your goals a little bit more than than you think possible and rely on other people to do so well, <laughs> it's kind of a trust fall <laughs> exactly the picture up top uh our asp council representing at the student senate uh here in uh california so the chancellor's office uh, does listen to the student opinion and the students are able to put forth resolutions to make changes that here in California in, in how students are represented, how what access students have, uh, funding issues. Uh, the student voice is extremely important as is our uh, employee voice and as our, our faculty voice. Yeah. And so each has an avenue to present uh, concerns and recommendations based on those folks that they represent. Yeah. So Definitely. Another photo up there. There we go. Some of the activities on campus for the last 20 years, for example, you'll see in this photo, we we've set out since the since 9/11, 3,000 flags. These are ASB uh, members, uh, members of the student body here in this photo, representing our paramedic, fire tech, uh, nursing, respiratory therapy. Phi Theta Kappa, uh, we usually get hundreds of students that, that help us to set these flags up by the library every year. So in addition to participating, learning particular skills, there are a lot of activities and we'll, we'll resume those in person again this year. We, we did set these flags up this year, even through COVID, uh, these 3000 flags, this is an older photo, but the newer ones are 18 inches tall and have the name of every person that lost their life uh, 20 years ago. Yeah, and, handwritten by the students. And they're handwritten by students. And so they're placed up uh, so that just kind of a, uh, everyone knows the High Desert Memorial is located here at Victor Valley College, right next to the library, was designed by one of our students and through the efforts of Desert Valley Medical and 50, 60 donors in the high desert that, that was placed here at the college and paid for. Mm -hmm. So every year we do acknowledge and represent and a little time for respect the the past and everything. So ASB is participating or coordinating or helping to support many of the activities that that you see here. You know, you'll see through our English department and many of our departments, the one book, one college, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Washington Black and bringing uh, Essie Aduyan here for a virtual uh, event coming up in a couple of months. ASB has participated in that and supported that. What you see up here now are our, our students after one of our retreats that we're representing our student body. And then Washington DC where we meet with our senators and our congressmen every year. Uh, I think I snuck myself in that picture too. <laughs> oh, you're in that photo? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, and we did we did go back this year in 20 in 2020 um, back to Washington DC though COVID hit while we were back there and everyone was safe and we, we did go back to receive this past year 2020 the the college of the year even though many of the schools weren't able to yeah. <laughs> to travel and COVID hit when they were supposed to travel but we did go back and come back safely and we did take 18 students back with us to Washington DC. Yeah, and that's always been a really incredible experience, especially at the community college level. Um, I know for myself when I found, I didn't even know that was part of 
what I was getting into when I joined ASB. And it was like a huge bonus that for the first time I got to travel uh, to the other side of the country and experience just new things, got to talk about networking, meeting people from all over the country. And you feel like you have a professional resource in just about every field you could want to go in um, to call on. And I mean, it inspired um, my best friend still to this day that was on ASB with me to actually move to DC and she's made a career for herself out there. Uh, you never know what sort of connections or opportunities are gonna come from, from these experiences. So what would you recommend? So if, if anybody would like a little bit more information, I know there's a lot that's gonna be put up here right now, we've got time. Yeah. We'll have, uh, We'll have appointments made to the ASB Council in June, and so we'll go through that process. But in the coming weeks, coming up, we'll send out information like you see above here. You know, what are the positions? What's kind of the um, anticipated participation from students? What, mm -hmm. what, what's expected? Um, what their interests are? They'll have to write a, a short, they, short little essay. Yeah, sort of an interest form so we can gauge, you know, right. what your interests are, what your skills are, what experience you have. You don't need to have any leadership experience. You don't need to have um, a previous ASB experience. This is really nothing like ASB in high school, um, at least most high schools that I know. Um, but we obviously will help you and, and you'll have the support of, of Robert, myself, and previous ASB members. That's what the summer retreat is for, so that you know more about what your role is. Um, but but we still want to know kind of what your interests are, if you have an idea, um, and so we can find kind of the best position that you'd be suited for. Um, a, a majority of the positions oh, on council are- You know what, I was just reminded, we have, we have another one of our former council members that oh, yeah. is online. <laughs> Chantelle, are you with us? Yeah, I am. Can you guys hear me? There you go. Chantelle, Chantelle Picone, one of, one of our fabulous uh, ASB member uh, alumni. Um, actually, many, many times representing the college at, mm -hmm. at, at events, but also as, I didn't want to say this, Chantelle, so you can correct me. <laughs> not, not as a mascot for sure, <laughs> but you have. <laughs> That's um, the dedication that Chantel has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we have. Oh, team. Uh, yeah, no, I think I've done, well, I've been in council since 2015, 2014, and I still go to try, I still try to go to events that the school hosts or if they need me for mascot. I'm there 99% of the time. And yeah, that's for events. Well, Chantel, you, you kind of under. Sold yourself uh, short. <laughs> yeah, you kind of, oh. no, no pun intended, you kind of like sell yourself short. Huh. It's, uh, uh, well, what what do you want me to, do you just want me to tell you about my experience or? Well, BBC, why, why was it? Why okay. It um, so just a little background. I joined BBC after high school. Um, I joined council 2014 because a friend was joining it and she said, why don't you join with me? And I did. And in fact, just like Charity, I had no idea about the trips and the first trip we went on scared the life out of me um, because you don't know what you're going in for. And you actually learn a lot uh, through these, not necessarily through the trips, but also through council. I have learned how to, um, besides public speaking class, which you'll learn a lot too, but I learned a lot through how to communicate with others and how to make connections. And that's what I've always based myself off of. And uh, what else did I learn? I learned, I made a lot of friends and I've played, made a lot of friends out of state. So like for instance, um, with ASAC, which is the uh, national conference, we met, I've met friends that live in New York now, live in Texas, out of state. And then within state, which is SSCCC and there's another, uh, there's lots of conferences. Um, I made friends within state. I have friends that are up north now. And I love to keep those connections just because you never know where you're gonna end up at the end of the, at the, end of the day. So those connections will help us get far. Uh, now- well, won't, you, won't you be at the, and, and Chantel will be one of these support help that will be at our, and has been 
at our our retreat to sit and, and yeah. to work with and counsel and be a part of the the future at Victor Valley College as well for the yeah. future. So with um, retreat, I started obviously in fourteen. I went as a student for three years. And then after that, Robert has requested, and I've always been honored to work with you guys during the summertime is to go back and help to give like ideas or to prepare you guys for what's going to come for the coming year. Obviously, this year is a little different with distance learning, but um, being a student myself still, I've learned all, there's a lot of things we could do for our students to make sure that they feel involved. And I look forward to hopefully this summer we do something um, where I could help you guys be more involved with students. And that's been something I've enjoyed doing the past few years, not as a student, being able to help you guys. And one of my favorite things that we do every year is the goals. And even though it's a lot of work, we enjoy writing over a thousand goals and making sure that we have them ready for you guys the next day to review and pick and choose and then finalizing them and making sure that it sounds as perfect as it could be. So you're presenting, representing your students as well as they can be represented. And I think Does that sound good. I think both of every, as everyone, every year, there are many things that, that you can hang your hat on and, and lift your head high and say, wow, you know, I look around Victor Valley College and these are the things that I was a part of that, that actually came to fruition. Uh, the, the other thing is, is that no matter how much we tell you, you're respected here on campus, you, you'll feel that. But it's also the respect that Victor Valley College gets, not only in the state of California, but also throughout the country, that when you do get, and, and next year we will get the opportunity to travel to conference, you'll hear that firsthand. And I think that, you know, you we can sit and tell you many different things about how valuable this is going to be to you, but hearing it from your peers and hearing it from other schools is, is really gonna sink in. You're gonna say, wow. So when you get the opportunity, and this is in life in general, and when the opportunity crops up, um, take advantage. Because what I've found through the years is that our students are our number one resource and I'm surprised every year. Uh, I know I shouldn't be, but I'm surprised every year at, at how much our students shine and how much they step up to the the plate and they just knock it out of the park. Apology for the athletic reference. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. our another thing that, sorry, Robert, to cut you off. Another thing I do want to mention is the importance of, uh, what ASB taught me was the importance of building a community within your community. And it made me realize the support you have outside of VBC, like within your city. And um, there was something based off of that. I forgot, but take it away, Robert. <laughs> went somewhere else. So anyway, so we're, we're proud of our students. We're proud of uh, providing and helping with the opportunity, but uh, equally proud. You know, it's um, you know, probably the, the, the nicest thing about working closely with, with, with our students and whatnot is, is being able to brag about what they do. You know, that's that's why we're here. And this opportunity brings us closer together. We we will have opportunity uh, coming up this summer as we move forward for students to hold positions on council, mm -hmm. for students to volunteer and help support events, to we'll get our clubs up and running again now that uh, we'll, we'll get through our current circumstance here. And our students are going to shine and that's what we get to brag about. So I would encourage everyone who has a student email. Uh, you do get a few emails that, that I send out just a few. So respond back. Um, let me know that you might be interested, but we will be sending information out here in the next couple of weeks, let you know a little bit more about joining uh, next year's council, uh, a little bit of what the council has done. Yeah. Uh, there's, we really, we're not so worried about what your past experience is. Mm -hmm. We're worried about you becoming that person that, that you were meant to become and make connections that are gonna support you in the future. 
and we get to sit back and brag about what you did. So <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's important to note too, and Chantel could speak to this, but uh, ASB is also a lot of fun. Like it's not just all work and meetings. And I know it sounds like a lot, fun, but uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> you meet, um, you know, great people, like-minded people, you get to um, help people and participate in fun events, do giveaways, uh, all kinds of stuff. And so don't be hesitant because you think this sounds like too much work um, or I don't know if I'm right for this. If you're at all interested, if anything we've said um, stands out to you, even if you're just thinking that could look really good on my college applications and resumes, like just, you know, send an email, get a little bit more info so you know more about ASB and, and maybe it is the right thing for you and we can help, you know, talk to you and, and figure, yeah. it, figure it out. <laughs> well, we, we promise you one thing. You will meet and you will know every decision maker, every influencer here at Victor Valley College. And they will be there and they will support you and they will encourage you and provide advice uh, to be better. And I think you will be. So let's get involved. Uh, BVC is the place to be, and it's a good starting point to, to move on and, and shine in your future educational career. So with that, I, Chris, appreciate the opportunity, buddy. Absolutely. Thank you, folks, so much. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Charity. You know, Chris, can we, yes. can we add something in, in here? No. I know, yeah. that, I know that you've got uh, some, some giveaways and everything. Why yeah. don't you give a couple of $25 Amazon gift cards away right now? Oh, right this moment. Right, right this, this moment, moment man. On, on spot, spur of the moment. Okay, wonderful. Here's what we're going to do. First off, for the last gift card that we give away, congratulations to Giselle. She picked number 22, and the number that I had in my mind was number 21. So Giselle is the winner of the $15 Jack in the Box gift card that we were giving away prior to this presentation. Now, per Robert, the man, Robert's the reason the BBC is the place to be. So he's got a $25 Amazon gift card for the first student hmm, who can in the chat, type in something that ASB has accomplished on the BBC campus, but you can't use that stoplight there at Fish Hatchery Road. You have to use another project that they've completed wow. for our campus and for our students. So if you can name any other accomplishment uh, of our ASB on campus, go ahead and type that into the Q&A right now for a $25 Amazon gift card. While students are filling or typing in their answers, I just wanted to share something that you folks really hit on uh, really hard and I think it it speaks volumes and we've been hearing this word over and over and it's very near and dear to me that is networking networking is making sure that you have friends in the right places they don't have to be your best buddy but they got to know you and you got to know them so that they know what you're working on and you know what they're working on that's what networking is and centering yourself a net around a network that has even just some ASB representatives in your network will speak volumes to the amount of connection that you'll have to the Victor Valley College, to our community, and those connections that you're gonna need later on in life when you're trying to get uh, jobs and careers. So thank you, you know um, Chris, so much. One other thing I, I totally forgot. Mm -hmm. oh, every single month, there's an ASB student newsletter. Really? Ah. <laughs> totally forgot about that. Yeah. Every single month, there's an ASB student newsletter every month so if you don't have access to or do not look at your student email or look at social media hmm. we do put a few things on both of those there's a student newsletter that goes out every single month and we do encourage students that are part of asb or not if they've got something they'd like to write about or mm -hmm. or like to to get published we put that out every month. So I forgot about that, Chris. Sorry. No, no, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. We've got a couple of responses back for the uh, for that $25 Amazon gift card. I'm going to go ahead and read you the responses. And then Charity and Robert, you're going to pick one. Okay. So number one, ASB accomplishment, office hours and helping students. Okay. Number answer number two, toy drives for Christmas is an ASB accomplishment. Number three, 
improved lighting throughout the campus and new bike racks. Number four, distributed laptops to students in need. And number five, they have a gender neutral, they have a gender gender neutral bathroom at BBC. So right. which one of those would you guys claim is as well, you know what? because I think they're all correct. <laughs> well, I think they're I think they're all correct. So why don't we why don't we throw a you know what, Chris? Tiebreaker? Why, why don't we do three of them? Why don't we give the, the toy drive? Why don't we give the gender neutral bathrooms? Mm -hmm. And what do you think? You think Miss well, Students remember you can actually you can only wear win once. So Giselle just won. Oh, so she we'll, did. we'll give away oh, two here. Goodness. She was correct. Well, the toy drive for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we, we, so I think and that for sure. Lighting or? All right. Amy, did you get the, uh, the student winners here for this one? Just want to make sure we've got the three students who, if you wouldn't mind, if you typed in one of the answers that Robert just read off, please go ahead and type in your student email into the Q&A so we can make sure you get your, uh, your gift card. So as toy drive, you said lighting? Mm-hmm. Okay. And gender, neut gender neutral bathroom. Right, but she just won, so. <laughs> oh, that's right, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? Oh, it's, two is the same person? Hey, Chris, if, if yes. you're, you're in charge of the, the giveaway rules. Let's, let's upgrade her to the $25 Amazon gift card from the uh, $15 there you go. Jack in the Box. There, that's what I'm thinking right there. There we go. There All you right. Go. Well, congratulations, Pamela, Brenda, and Giselle. All right. Well, wonderful. Uh, like we said, ASB is definitely a great group to add into your network. Attend their events. They're doing great things. They're always looking for help to, to push their goals. And every year they set great goals um, for the campus and for the students to improve what we have going on here at Victor Valley College. So thank you so much for your leadership on and off campus. We truly appreciate it. Before we let you guys go, I do, since we do have another former ASB student on the line, um, Chantel, why don't you tell us what's your career path now that you're, you've moved past um, Victor Valley College and um, our ASB? So right now I finished my bachelor's at Cal Poly Pomona under history, which is categorized under social sciences. Right now I am also part of their credential program, which I am student teaching right now in San Bernardino. And I begin to finish my master's in this fall. Well, fantastic. Look at that from VBC working on her master's now. So that's fantastic. Congratulations to you. Keep that momentum going. And we're excited to, to have you teach here at VBC when you finish that master's. How about that? All right. Hopefully. I don't know if Jackie Augustine is on is on with us right now, but she is always looking for uh, instructors in the humanities department. So well, you know, don't uh, don't be a stranger. Jack Jackie, Jackie and homies. former yeah. ASB president here at Victor Valley College. So oh see, gosh, what a network you've got going on now. <laughs> All okay. right. You Thank ask you so much to ASB. Was? What was that? You're gonna ask are are, are we gonna be privy to the first uh, uh, job that we had that we paid. Taxes. Yeah, let's put you on the spot. What was the very first job that you had that you actually had taxes taken out of your paycheck? <laughs> I think I mentioned that, but um, I, well, technically, I will say my first two jobs were at Victor Valley College. My very first job was working as a tutor for the Upward Bound program. Um, and then I worked for the bookstore. And while I was working for the bookstores, when I applied and got the job at the Victorville Daily Press newspaper. And then I worked there for a few years. Um, and so that was definitely like my first full time. <laughs> yeah. And was that part of the, our federal work study program? With the, uh, um, when you were no, working, campus. working for Upward Bound and the bookstore were both not um, federal work study, but they're oh. great experiences. Um, and I, I mean, it was awesome to get to work on campus and be a student here. It was the best opportunity. <laughs> Wonderful. How about you, Robert? What was your first gig? What was your first job? Well, you said paying taxes, so dumpster diving as a youngster and mowing lawns isn't going to count. So, right. Uh, when I was 17 years old, I moved from Camp Pendleton up to Los Angeles and needed a job. So I worked at the the bookstore at the at USC, and that was my first job to to help pay tuition or at least the additional expenses that I had when I was there. And spent about uh, eventually built the, the the current bookstore that you see when you go to USC, 
but um, yeah, for quite a few years. Mm. So that was my first. Wonderful. We're going to call you Van Wilder from now on because you're never leaving college. I don't know if anybody's even seen that movie. All right. Well, thank you so much to Robert and Charity and to ASB. We appreciate you guys so much sharing the great work that you do, the leadership and the opportunities to be involved.